All right, so since I just did the unboxing of these three goodies over here, my beauties, my precious, I thought I'd do an unboxing of the Pinups of Death. Hard plastic pinup collection by Kingdom Death that I got about, I don't know, three years ago. Also for Christmas from my girlfriend. So it's very odd to find a woman that actually lets you play with little pieces of plastic and paint them and use up your time instead of dealing with other things in life. It's kind of nice. There. So here's some bases for these. Say it's what? two, four, six, eight of them. So it should be about eight miniatures in here. And then uh, out of boots, bottom of the bases, bases basically fit into there. So let's see, go screw by screw. So here's the architect, as you can see. Get it kind of close. And this is the back side of it, but cape leg, I say that's the boobs, lower torso, her face there, one of her arms, her arms with her weapon, and you flip it over. So there's her head without the weird helmet, her bum, leg, backside of the cape. Uh, the little face there uh, is from Kingdom Death. Basically, like everything in the world, and yeah, those are her boobs. Everything in the world is just like these faces that are carved in stone for the flooring everywhere. Grass on top of it or something. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to it. So then you've got the Forsaker, which is supposed to be like some weird hardcore badass chick. Uh, so going down the line, backside. Uh, I want to say that's a piece of armor right there. More armor, some more armor. It's a little filigree stuff. Uh, more armor, her big old weapon that she slings over her shoulder. Bunch of chains and loops. And then flip it around. See, front sides ish. So, hook, her hand extends down from there. See where her boobs inset at. There's one with a chain, I want to say. There's the other one with a chain wrapped around it. So, that's those two on that side. And you've got on this side, what is that, the white speaker? So, white speaker can be built as two different ones regular white spe speaker and white speaker Nico. So, the white speaker is basically what the fade was before she got pregnant and was kicked out according to the storylines. Um, so her, there's her face, it's wrapped, boobs and leather, some kind of fur cape going down, very scantily clad legs, and they do like blood magic too, which is kind of neat. Then you've got so this is the preacher. So she's very academic, yet very scantily clad. So she's like the the hot, badass librarian chick, basically. You know, every guy's fantasy for a librarian, if that's your fantasy. Stockings, big butt, hair, glasses. I don't want to say no glasses. I'll probably do with no glasses because glasses are a pain in the butt to deal with. So that's one set of screws. And here's the second one. <clears throat> Starting up is the Survivor, which is basically your starting class as in the game. So you got the lantern there. And then boobs, two different faces, her spear. Say like a sword there, the lantern on the other side, her torso. And then I want to say my favorite is the Twilight Knight. So that's the back side of her head, her breasticles, arms all armored up, legs.
legs armored up, torso there, her cape and her sword. And you go to the other side and you'll see it a little bit better. So you got the sword and the cape. And then the leather strappings with like the bikini going on. And then her face, which is in the cowl. Which is always kind of cool. And then last but not least, we've got... Oh, there's... Serv oh, the Savior. Okay. I was like, what the hell? Two survivors? No. A savior. So, I don't know exactly what she's supposed to be like, but give her different options for legs, obviously, as you can see. It looks like it's a little gnarled up as far as taking damage. Arm there with a the sword, holding the sword. Her cape. And her butt on that leg. And then you come around. Some more options there. Here's her face. So she's almost kind of like dressed up like a, I don't know, almost like a nurse or a maid in a sense. See, a little mini skirt and a nurse's outfit type deal. With a sword or I want to say a staff, either one. It's got a little lantern on it too for the staff. So, but those are them. So, inside this magnificent box comes with that, and then these. So, we open them up, and we get all sorts of good, good goodies. So, you got the savior, or the Thank you, Karn. That's the Twilight Knight. The Game Hunter. Pin up white speaker. Survivor. The Preacher. Let's see. Then the Savior. And the Architect. So then here is the Forsaker. I want to say it came with a thing for Nico, but then you've also got this. A strange spot. I guess you can change genders, do gender swap with a belt or something. I don't know. It's an event. And then this is like a loot card or something. I don't know. I've Again, I don't play the game, don't really plan on playing the game, but it changed the opposite sex, so I don't know. I thought it was for Nico, but obviously not. Not one of those heads for the white speaker had Nico on it. Looking for it. Quick. I could have sworn you could do it as Nico or not. Preacher. Architect, Forsaker, Weed Speaker. Yeah, no, it's just a regular white speaker. Okay. So, anyways, that's it. That's what it all comes as. So, quite a few of them, I don't want to say. What, there's eight here, and another two there for ten. The Disciple of the Witch will be for Zinch, the Fade, and the Warrior of the Sun definitely will be for. Slanesh and a couple of these others will be for Slanesh too, probably for Sigvald's um, main guard around him when I build him and paint him up and get these all painted up. I haven't touched these because I really didn't feel I was good enough to paint them yet, but I've been told I am, so I might start assembly after I get done with the clock in. So that's about it. So have a nice night, guys. Bye.